Hey, Steve Everton here. In this quick example, I'm going to show you how you can visualize your AML investigation lifecycle. Again, we're in SAS Visual Analytics, and what I have here is a report. And now this is an aggregation of all my investigations. And I can slice uh, using my filters up here at the top. I can group it into different case types. I can select a different date range. If I want to slide this around, I can see uh, different aspects of time. What I have here is what's called a tree map. Each box represents a case category, which is within a, a particular case type. And what we can do is we can select a case category. And as you can see, for each one we select, the indicators on the right update. So if I want to focus on, let's say, terrorist financing, we can see here on the right a distribution of how long it took these investigations to complete. So the context here, just to take a step back, is that I'm an AML manager. I've already determined there is reason to believe that there is suspicious activity, and now I just simply want to monitor how long is it taking to complete those investigations for these particular um, case types and categories. So within this uh, bar chart here, I can select any bar and you can see below the investigators for a specific age range. So for example, again, terrorist financing, these are the number of cases that uh, were completed um, within different age range. So for cases over 90 days, and there's 22 cases, these are the individuals that investigated and completed those particular, uh, those specific cases. From here, I can actually click and drill into a specific investigator to see what were these four cases. And again, from here I can export this like on a lot of different things. And from here I can take some corrective action. I can ask the person, you know, what went on? Why did these take so long? Um, that's really can go a lot of different ways from there. Or if I want to select a few different ranges, I can do that just the same. And we can see again a nice pie chart here. And I'll just drill down on one of my investigators. And again, I get a different list. So it's again, it's, as a manager, this is just a quick tool to look at, again, starting at the case type and category. Let's start from there and then break down into the case life cycle. And then from there, the case life cycle age range breaks into the investigator, and then from there, we can drill into to get the specific case details.